shake your booties for black girl nerd. Thank you for sitting with me, gentlemen. Congratulations Thank on you. completing a project. When you have a project like this that has the Stephen King name attached to it, what is the pressure to deliver a project like this for either of you, if at all? Got it. Yeah. Very nerve wracking. Yeah, what it's very there's a lot of pressure. Um when you're making the movie though, what you try to do is you try to put aside that it's based yeah. on a, a material like you know, once the script's written and uh, everything's planned, the skeleton of the movie is there. And it's just kind of, you have to just go about the movie like you would any movie you made. And, you know, try and, you know, be making the movie every day with your collaborators without thinking like, we're making a Stephen King movie or whatever. But then when it's done and you've had maybe had some even liberties with it as you were making it, mm -hmm. it comes up that they're like, oh, we're going to show it to Stephen King tomorrow. And suddenly the pressure all comes back and you go, oh, my God, he's going to hate what we did to it. We mm -hmm. changed this part, we changed that part, he's going to hate it, you know? And then you get real nerve-wracking. But, like, the time when they were showing it to Stephen King, like, I think that hour and 45 minutes was like we were checking our phone constantly, waiting for updates, going, please say he liked it, please say he liked it. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and then he tweeted that he liked it. And it was like a huge awesome. relief, Die a now. huge way now, you know? <laughs> That's awesome. With uh, with uh, creating a horror movie, there's there's it's a different vibe than a romantic comedy or or any other type of genre. When you're directing uh, the t the cast uh, mm -hmm. to perform, what is that instruction different? Do you have to tell them go to that dark place? What is the instruction you give just to get those pivotal right. gotcha scenes? Yeah, I think uh, it's a combination of both. I think depending on the scene, like there are the scenes that are the drama scenes, the dramatic scenes, and this movie has a lot of them. And for those, you it's almost like the opposite. You don't want to approach them like you're in a horror movie, you know? You, you because I think some of the better horror movies were made by directors who didn't necessarily say, I'm making a horror movie, you know? Uh, and so in those scenes, you want to approach them as realistically as you can. But then there are the the big horror scenes. And like Amy's a perfect example, Amy Simons. She has made a lot of horror films. So with her, there was a, a real shorthand where we would need her to be worked up and to be out of 10. And she would, I got it, I got it. She understood what we wanted there. And then she was, she was able to bring that stuff. And she was so good at doing it and making it real that she knew how to dial up those emotions to really give you that... That, that, that almost hyper realness to it, to where like you got to be a little bigger for these scenes because you want to be visceral here. You want the audience to be able to watch that scene muted and still be frightened by it. So uh, it depends on the scene and the context of the scene. And uh, all the actors really were good about knowing what the scene called for. You know? With this film, it's a new story of Pet Cemetery. So for those two who are going to go watch it in the theaters, it's not the traditional, it's still the elements of Pet Cemetery, but not the exact photo with with those liberties what were some of the challenges of bringing forth those new elements to this new story yeah I think it was just um, making sure that we kept a good balance like you know because like we were talking about the pressure you want to make sure that Stephen King and his fans are on board the movie you know you want to you know like if Stephen King is very vocal on Twitter and he's got a lot of uh, followers all his fans so like whether or not he likes your movie or not is gonna it's gonna have a great effect on the success of your movie and just also not just success but you want to be true to the creator of the the source material so it's just a matter of like making these changes and trying to make a movie that will be a new fresh experience for audience goers but making sure that you don't cross the line to where people don't recognize pet cemetery anymore or people yeah. don't think that you were true to stephen king's vision or what he was trying to say with the book so it's a matter of just trying to find the balance and making sure that you keep the essence of the book all right thank you gentlemen yeah. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.